All right, welcome everyone to Stretch with a Leader. Um, so glad you could all join us today. And we're grateful to have Alicia Bowling here with us. Um, Alicia is, maybe you tell us what your title is, because I sometimes get it wrong. So share with us. What sure. So I'm the Clinical Operations Director over OB Neo, and my office is out of Intermountain Medical Center here in Murray. Okay. Well, great. Thank you. So glad to have you here with us today. Um, and I'll turn the next few minutes over to you, Alicia, for the Live Well moment, and then you can throw it back to me for the stretch. Perfect. Thanks, Kami. I'm really happy to be here today and have thought a lot about um, the different dimensions that we have within Live Well. I love Live Well. I think it helps us to focus in so many different ways. And um, the message I guess I wanted to share today was about um, the dimension of living happy. And um, I can tell you that it wasn't that long ago that I wasn't living happy. Um, those that know me may not even recognize that. I The past few years have been a really, really hard struggle um, in my own personal life, with relationships, with my kids, health issues, work, COVID, all the things, right? We, like, the list of hard is, is long and heavy at times. Um, and I was doing a check-in with one of my caregivers, and I was asking her how she was resilient and how she brought her best self to work. And she shared with me something very profound, and she said, I just decide every day to, to not wear my grouchy pants to work. And I went home that night, and I was doing a lot of self-reflection, and I thought, man, how am I showing up? How am I showing up when I'm around people? What are... What's the vibe that I give off? And um, I started to recognize I had some opportunity. And so I, in one of my Live Well um, challenges that I did, uh, it was to focus on gratitude. And that didn't mean that it was going to fix everything that was going on in my life. Um, but by focusing every day on finding something I was grateful for, even if it meant like the cloud formation, um, some days it was a struggle to find that. But by focusing on that, I really felt like things started to align again in my life, and I was able to find some peace, and it really, like, overflowed into other aspects of my life, and I was able to get healthier physically and um, emotionally and, and just all the things, and so I guess I would just say finding that peace in um, focusing on gratitude really can help to direct you. It doesn't take away all the hard. We all have hard. We could sit here all day and talk about the hard, but um, by focusing on what we're grateful for, it can lead us in, in a happier direction. So I'll turn it back to you, Kami. Thanks so much, Alicia, for being vulnerable and sharing a little bit about um, you know, what, what you've experienced. And, and I love the concept of like taking off your grouchy pants. <laughs> Do you have like a specific way that you like to express gratitude? Like, is there, do you have a pattern or a habit or yeah, so I actually have on my iPad, I've got a little notebook that every day I um, have a line and I write what I'm grateful for. Um, some days I, I accidentally miss and so I'm catching up and I, I do try to catch up on the days that I miss. Um, but keeping that list also helps me to make sure I'm not just finding gratitude in the same thing over and over again and challenging myself to like look further and, and really stretch. So thank you. That's wonderful, you know, just taking a moment to kind of shift our focus a little bit. And I think a lot of times, I like how you said writing it down keeps you from focusing on the same thing every day. So thanks so much for sharing. Yeah, um, thanks. You can leave your camera on or turn it off for the stretch. Totally up to you. There's no pressure either way. Uh, but we will move on to the stretch portion today. Get my camera all in the right spot. All right. Let's take a moment to take a few deep breaths. So just find your feet about hip width apart. Do a few shoulder rolls back. 
and then release your arms at your sides. So you can have a tall spine. Then let's take a few purposeful breaths. If it helps, take a hand, put it on your belly so that you can just feel the movement of the air. So as you inhale, expand the belly. As you exhale, release the belly in. Let's do two more breaths. Last breath. All right, go ahead and release hands. And we're gonna take our feet, oh, just a little wider than hip width apart. Hands on hips and just do some hip circles. Just start out small. You can make them a little bigger as you go. And then maybe start to really push your hips back as you make the circles bigger. And now let's go the other way. Again, start kind of small. Just checking in with your hips, your low back. Start to get a little bigger. And then maybe start to really push the hips way back. Okay, back to the center. Let's bring our feet in and we're gonna step the right foot forward, left foot goes back a little ways. And let's keep our back heel up so we're up on our toes. Go ahead and bend the front knee so we're just sinking down a little bit and you can adjust the, the length of your stance however you'd like. We're gonna bring right hand to hip and left hand is gonna make a fist and come by your shoulder. From here, start to punch your hand to the right, let your head turn and come back to the center. So keep your back glute nice and tight to keep your stability and also engage your core. So we're punching and turning, coming back to the center. Let's do that two more times on this side. You might start to notice a little work happening in the front quad, maybe the back calf too. Come back to the center, both hands on hips, and then we're gonna push the heel, back heel up and down. Okay, switch legs. Find your ideal split stance length. Let's bend the front knee, so dropping down a bit. And then right hand comes up into your fist. Squeeze your right glute nice and tight for stability. And then we're gonna punch and twist. But this is a slow punch because it is a mobility punch. And if it helps, Take a big inhale in the center right here, and then as you exhale, the twist will come a little easier because your ribs aren't trying to expand while you're twisting. It's always a great idea to exhale when you twist. Let's do one more. Hand comes back to the hip, and let's do those heel presses up and down on the back foot. Okay, come back to the center. Go ahead and shake the legs out a little bit. Find a slightly wider than hip width stance with the legs and then take some, a nice bend to the knees. We're gonna interlace fingers, press the palms out, start to reach forward and drop your chin towards your chest. Now start to reach your palms towards the sky. Stand up really tall. Then release your hands and pull elbows down, squeezing shoulder blades together, and then release your hands, palms forward, down towards your thighs. And we're gonna repeat that. Interlace fingers, press the palms out, start to round through the back, drop your chin. Big inhale, reach to the sky. Big exhale, pull the elbows down, squeeze shoulder blades and then release hands, palms are forward. Let's do that two more times. Interlace, round through the back, drop the chin. Big inhale, stand up tall. Big exhale, squeeze shoulder blades, pull elbows down. Release hands. Last time, interlace fingers, reach forward, round through the back, drop the chin. 
Big inhale, stand up tall. Big exhale, squeeze elbows down, shoulder blades together. And release hands. Okay, shake hands out. Go ahead and shake legs out. They've been in the same position for a little bit. We're gonna move into some hip hinging with a twist. So let's practice our hip hinge first. So about hip width apart, maybe a little wider. Push your hips back, your hands can come to your thighs, your back stays flat. And then just look at the ground. Squeeze your glutes, stand up. Do it two more times. So knees need to be soft here, so please don't straighten your legs out. Keep your knees a little bit bent anytime you're in your hinge. Last one like this. So you're feeling your hamstrings. Okay, we're gonna switch it up. So now, we're gonna bend the left leg, hands come to your left thigh. So right leg is mostly straight, not locked. Left leg is bent. Okay, so now you're gonna keep your right hand on your thigh and pull the left elbow up. So a little bit of a twist and then do some wrist circles. And then reach it down, press up and other side. So we're bending right knee, hands come to the right thigh. Left hand stays on the thigh, right elbow pulls up and wrist circles. And press back up. Okay, other side. This time, if you want to go deeper, it's going to be forearms on your thigh. And then left elbow pulls up. But you can always stay with hand on thigh. And press down, come up. Forearms. Bend the right knee. Hand can stay on instead of a forearm if that feels better. Elbow pulls up, wrist circles and press back up. Okay, shake it out. And we are going to engage our right leg on the floor. This is a great place to grab a wall or a chair just for stability. And the left leg is gonna start to swing forward and back. So hands on hips helps here if you're not holding on. But we try to keep our pelvis level, so don't let your pelvis move. It's all, all the movements in the hip joint. Forward and back. Okay, pause. And across in front. We're trying to just keep that left leg nice and relaxed. Okay, let's switch legs. Anchor the left leg. Stabilize core. And forward and back. Again, pelvis needs to stay level, all the movement in the hip joint. And then reset and across the front, side to side. Okay, let's go to wide legs. Let's do toes pointed out, so really wide here. We're going to just move side to side. Usually I have you point your toes straight forward. Not today. Just switch it up a little bit. Okay, we're going to hold this time. So holding to your left. From right here, push your hands into your thigh and lift your right toes. So we're flexing right toes up. And then maybe start to reach your chest towards your right leg. Noticing the stretch. Okay, put the toes down, let's press up, go to the other side. And then lift the left toes. Noticing the stretch, push into your thigh, start to reach your chest towards your left foot. And then put the toes down, press all the way back up. Let's bring our feet back in. Take a nice big inhale, reach up. Exhale as you release your arms. Let's do it one more time. Big inhale, reach up. And exhale, release arms. All right, you guys, that is it. Thanks for joining today.